Good day everybody, this is the Ecclesiarch here, back with some more Horus Heresy Legions, and today I'm announcing another tournament. So this is going to be a card creation tournament, and chances are you already saw the um, announcement, but if you have not seen it yet, or maybe you are not on the main Discord, perhaps this will help you uh, get the news, basically. So this is going to be a recurring tournament. Me and Shadalan are going to be hosting this every other week. So every other week, there's going to be a new card creation tournament, and you'll have two weeks to submit your, uh, basically, to make your submissions. And then uh, on every other Saturday, we're going to be announcing the winners. So... This one is going to end on the 9th of February, so there is the deadline for submissions, because on the 10th of February, we'll already announce the winners. So let's quickly go over the rules. Now, you guys need to know that this is going to be in the theme of Burning of Prospero, since it's going to rotate out soon and go into Legacy. So we want cards from the main factions of the Burning of Prospero expansion, which are Space Wolves, Custodes, Thousand Suns, or the Associated Neutrals. So let's quickly go over some of the rules that are uh, going to be for this tournament. So rule number one, only a single card entry per player. So this means that you can enter only one card. However, you can also submit like any special card that is associated with um, a set card. So for example, if you are submitting a new Magnus the Red, obviously you also need to submit his Reckoning card, right? So it's absolutely fine. So if it's like tied to the card that you are submitting, any token on, or any special card or whatever can also be submitted, but they all have to be a part of one single card, okay? So your entry must be from the Thousand Suns, Custodes, Space Wolves, or the associated neutral factions, right? Like Chaos, Imperial Guard, and Mechanicum. Uh, however, they should be associated with somehow with Burning of Prospero if you wanted, if you want them to be rated high. So the next rule is that if you can create custom keywords, uh, but then you have to include an image explaining how they will uh, function. Because if you don't explain it, then it will be disregarded. By custom keywords, we mean if you create something new other than Rally, Sentinel, uh, Resolution. If you create your own custom keyword, you must also explain to us like how it works right because if you don't explain it then we'll have to disregard the um submission and don't forget that the final submission is 9th of february 2024 so please be sure uh, that you are happy with your submission before you submit it just to avoid uh, confusion and to avoid a lot of you know <laughs> a lot of mess so and don't forget just one important thing as well if you want to submit this you need to submit this to me on email not on discord okay so my email is going to be given in the, the pinned comment of the video so you you can submit it here send it together with your either in-game tag or discord tag or something and you can also uh, text any explanations that you want so there you go so those are the main rules for uh this little um, for this little tournament that we have here now you might wonder, like, what exactly are we looking for, right? We're j well, we're just looking to see just what are you, what are some of the ideas that you guys have. So send us your best ideas, send us your favorite cards, just create something uh, passionately, and I'm sure that we are going to love it. Now, if you're interested in how to create cards, uh, you can now stick around. And if you already know how to create cards, you can um, leave the video now. Uh, but basically, we're going to be using the Captured Forge by Alder Godric. Now, Captured Forge is available for download for everybody. I'm going to link it in the pinned comment once again. And now I'm going to show you how exactly you create cards with the Captured Forge. So, right here, I'm inside the application right now. I'm not sure if this works on uh, the phones though, guys, but it definitely works on the PC. So, once you enter the Captured Forge, this is the kind of a interface that you're going to get so the first thing that you really want to do is load art right and once you hit the load art then you want to take some random art that is going not random art sorry you want to take an art that is going to be um that is going to be um uh, associated with the card that you are going to make so for example i'm going to take this uh, art right now which is the cover of the latest horse heresy book and as you can see it's not looking too good right so i need to uh, I need to change the scale, and right here, as you can see, is the scale, right? However, when I 
press the plus, it goes too close. So what I need to do is I need to change it manually, right? So let's do zero point, um, okay, sorry. Let's do zero point four. It's not letting me change for some reason. One moment, there we go, okay. So let's, uh, yeah, there we go, so zero point four. And this doesn't seem to be quite enough, so what I'm going to have to do here is going to try 0.45. And that's already pretty good, still a little bit away, 48, and let's actually cap it on 50, right? Okay, so there you go. Now, I have to decide whether or not this card is going to be a tactic or it's going to be a, or it's going to be a uh, unit. Or a warlord even. So I actually think that it's going to be a tactic. So if it's a tactic, I need to remove the stats, right? So now it looks like a tactic and it's no longer a... Uh, so it's no longer a, let's say... Uh, it no longer has stats like the unit is supposed to have, right? So I'm going to say tactic right here. And the faction that I'm going to give this to is going to be, let's say, the Imperium. By the way, this is not uh, associated with the... Um, Burning of Prosper, I'm just making a random card for you guys to see. So let's say I'm going to make an Imperial Army tactic, and I want it to be a Legendary. So when it comes to the Rarity, we're going to switch it to Legendary, and as you can see, it instantly turns Golden, right? So let's say I want to make a, a 4 Energy Legendary tactic. We give the 4 here, and now you can see I have a 4, legendary, four Energy Legendary tactic with a beautiful piece of art, right? So... Next thing that you want to do is you want to make the name. It's the left name and the right name. So it's to the left is um, to the left is going to be displayed here, and the right one is going to be displayed here. So let's call it a heroic strike, for example. Okay, and yeah, it kind of looks like uh, it as well. So yeah, we're going to move it a little bit here so that it looks good, and over here. So we're also going to say heroic strike, and let's create an effect for it. Right, so. Basically, you can make a very simple thing um, out of this. Since it's like a heroic strike, you could say uh, deal, for example, um, deal, let's say, f five to six dam, not five, let's say four to six damage to an enemy unit. If it dies, uh, let's say if it dies, it cannot be brought back by any means now this is definitely not a very good card however it's just here for uh it's just here for demonstration right so we just created a little legendary which is probably a little bit of a shit legendary but it can it can really demonstrate what we really wanted to do right at the same time what you really could do uh if you want uh one of the things that you could do is that you can add keywords in it. So let's say, for example, if it was a unit and if it was not a tactic and you want to add a rally, what you do is you open uh, this box right here and you say rally and boom, there you go. Now you have a rally, right? If you want a resolution, boom, there's a resolution, right? So it's actually very easy uh, to create um, stuff with this. Now, what what is this, by the way? Ah, yeah, okay, this is the faction. Anyway, so another thing that you really can do if you're creating a warlord, there's also the initiative thing. So if, if, you're, if you're making a warlord, then uh, you also want to add initiative here. And yeah, this is pretty much it. So And you can also give it a watermark uh, based on the expansion. So you guys probably want to give it the Prospero watermark to make sense. So <laughs> you know what I mean, right? So anyway, I hope this is uh, this was useful for you guys. Also, don't forget that you can also add these things here. Like, if it has a rally, you want to add it on the banner as well. So, in general, uh, gentlemen, this is how you create cards. And this is how you can make, like, uh, new cards uh, from Alder Godric's uh, Captured Forge. Of course, you could also do it in Photoshop or something else. But this w just makes everything so much easier, all right? So, thank you for watching, gentlemen. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment or to text me on Discord. Ecclesiarch out. Oh.